But now it's time to take a look at today's forecast. Gerard Jabaley, we are in the middle of a winter storm that's hitting a large portion of the country. Now, we've just been finishing up with that one. So the one that you've been talking about, Mitch, the last two days we've been dealing with it across the Great Lakes and then into New England. Now that one has moved out. The next one has moved in and it's across the West. Blizzard warnings happening in places that they haven't happened before. So here we go. The historic snowfall totals happening in places uh, in the mountains. We're talking about the Central Valley, the mountains there just to the north of LA in uh, altitudes above 6,000 feet. We're talking four to seven feet of snowfall. Now it's just not the snowfall with blizzards, it's also wind. First ever blizzard warning issued by the National Weather Service in San Diego, too, by the way. So the high winds are blasting in with this system. Now, below the higher terrain, we're going to be seeing it as rain and high wind, but still, that is quite a uh, busy pattern that we have going here with this one. The storm is going to reform as we head into the weekend, and we are going to be looking at that creating a severe weather threat across the central plains. Typical tornado alley kind of thing, but this is a little bit earlier in the season than they typically would get. But either way, this is what we're expecting. It's moving to Sunday. We'll see supercells possible as we move into the afternoon and evening hours. That'll be capable of wind gusts over 65 miles per hour, golf ball size hail or larger. Some tornadoes will also be possible. Some of them could even be closing in on a stronger side. We got to watch this very carefully on Sunday. So that's how things are shaping up. This has just been a very robust setup for a lot of weather. The Arctic air is going to start retreating as we move into the weekend. That's the good news. So we're going to get a break across much of the northern plains. But down south, they're still getting a taste of the cooler, cooler temperatures. Not too bad, but they're going to get the rain with it. I think the best place this weekend, if you wanted to enjoy a weekend, would probably be down in Florida, right? I mean, this time of the year, it's typically where you see it. Definitely not California. Definitely not in the central United States, Mitch. It's going to be busy weather this weekend. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.